Hi, this is Paul Carlson, CPA with Law Firm Velocity. We have a few clients who will print trust account checks from QuickBooks desktop that is hosted on Right Network's hosting service. That this happens when the firms use a practice management system that cannot print checks. For example, Clio is very popular, but the system cannot print checks. So this process is to first get the connections installed to your computer. So you go to the Right Network's website, go to the support page, and scroll to the bottom and run this Right Network setup wizard. Uh, this will install two items on your computer. The first is a terminal server or a remote desktop service icon on your desktop that you use to connect to the remote server. And the second application that installs is TS Print, and that is a little application needed to print from the remote server to your local computers and to your local printers. So with that, we'll assume you can get through this details and run those applications. Once that is done, you have a Right Networks icon on your desktop. So to connect to the QuickBooks server, you click, and here you would enter your Right Networks login, and we will provide this to you, that you have two logins. So one is Right Networks, and that connects to the server, and a second login is your QuickBooks login. So you'd enter those credentials here and click OK, and you will log in. And here, Right Networks is starting to log in. We get to this screen and we click OK. Sometimes it takes a moment or two for the service to spin up. This is a good time to go get your check stock and double check the first check number we're going to print. All right, and here's your Right Networks desktop. Law firms will typically only have one QuickBooks icon on the desktop. We have a bunch because we keep old copies to support new clients. So start QuickBooks. Typically in this process, you'll be prompted for your QuickBooks desktop username and password. I'm using an example database that doesn't have a password on it, so it skips that screen. I just after you click the QuickBooks desktop icon, you'll be prompted for a second username and password that we will provide. Okay, and here QuickBooks desktop on the remote server has spun up. So first is the accountant center window. If you don't wanna see this anymore, just uncheck this box and close it and it will go away. A home screen, you can maximize this. We're not gonna use it. It just bugs me when it's little. So we're gonna use these three shortcuts in the shortcuts bar. So the first is to, we have a memorized shortcut to post IELTA checks. The second shortcut is to print the checks. And then third is to look at a check register. So let's go ahead and click the shortcut into Memorize IOLTA Transactions. So here we have a Memorize IOLTA Draw. So we'll click on this link and we get a template of the check we need to enter. So we're going to write it on the Chase IOLTA account. We have print later selected, so that way we can print all the checks as one batch. Today's date, this check is going to client A, and they are receiving $25,000. So here we want a description and the client name. We do settlement funds, again, client A. This account name is always a liability account. This amount will populate from here. And from this customer job, we want to again select client A because this is money coming from that client. We're gonna do save and close, never save and new because that doesn't use the shortcut. So save and close from the IOLTA draw. So we wanna write a second check. This will go to a doctor that helped with the matter. So again, goes from the Chase IOLTA account, today's date. This is payable to Dr. D, and they are not a, an existing vendor within the system. So we do select new, it's gonna be a vendor. Vendor name will be Dr. D. And then, so this is just the vendor name within QuickBooks. In this window, we need to print the vendor name and address that we want printed on the check. So Dr. D, 
100. Main Street, Mesa, Arizona, A5201. And so now we have the vendor added. Click OK. The physician is receiving $2,500. And so this will be, so we need a description of the check along with the matter name. So this will be Dr. D services for client A matter. This account is the same dollar amount as pre-populated for this customer job that this work was done for client A. So we select client A. If this client is not set up, type the client name here in the memo and we will go back and we will add the client name to the specific checks. And below the screen record, there's two buttons that say save and close or save and new. So I'm gonna go down and hit save and close. All right. And so with that, we have entered two checks into QuickBooks desktop that now we want to go ahead and print those checks. So we're gonna use this second shortcut and we are going to, so here's the two checks that we know we want to print. We're gonna print from the Alta checking account and the first check number, so we're looking at our pre-printed check stock that we've purchased, that we wanna confirm that check number 10 is the first available check. So we click OK. Remember when we were doing the setup, we said we're gonna install TS Printer that since we're printing from right networks, our printer name is TS Print. So we're going to go ahead and leave this to TS Print and click Print. And we need to wait a second. So now we can see the local printers on our computer. So we would enter, we would load the check stock into our laser printer, click OK. We can hear the printer kick in and it's printing our checks. And from there we would make sure that the checks are okay. And if the checks have printed fine, we just go ahead and click okay and we are done. The third link is a link into our IELTA check register. And so this brings up all the check registers. We need to select our IELTA account, click okay. And from here, we can see the history of the checks that have been printed against the Alta Trust account. Firms typically don't do a whole lot with this, just wanted to show that you can go back in and see the history. And so to wrap up, what we've talked through is how to record Alta checks into QuickBooks, then how to print those Alta checks from QuickBooks. Now, some firms will have us post the checks for them into QuickBooks, so we do this step and then all the firm does is they log in and they print the checks directly from their office so we talk with us on which options you want to use and with that if you need any help with your law firm's accounting please give us a shout over at law firm velocity thanks bye bye